Now, what have you learned from me, and what have I learned from you? <laughs> right? Yeah. Yeah, the fact of the matter is, my uh, grandsons, sons and grandsons, have a, a monumental task of bringing me into the modern world of mushing. And so my, just on outward appearance, I mean, just by a glance, they tell me that my sleeping bag is archaic, and my uh, boots need to be, you know, I need to do something about those boots and that sled, well, that belongs in the museum, you know, and that <laughs> headlight you wear, holy cow, where, <laughs> what century did you buy that in, that, that sort of thing, so they have a pretty tough task of modernizing me, and, which I greatly appreciate, I, I really do, but as far as advice, uh, the younger generation isn't real prone to taking advice. <laughs> On the same note, I mean, we wouldn't have high-tech sleeping bags and all the stuff you just mentioned if somebody wasn't out there with, you know, a blanket and a candle to, you know, blaze the way. So we learned a lot, and probably the biggest thing was just the respect for what they did. You know, it wasn't just go run the Iditarod. Like, it's, it's kind of become almost cliche in our family now it doesn't seem like a challenge almost anymore but when they did it, it was totally new so i learned you know about not necessarily about dog mushing but just to apply it to other things you know you can go out and try something new and why not you know so yeah